Christmas approaches and panto season gets underway. One theatre has decided to pre-warn audiences that they could be in for triggering scenes. Cambridge University's theatre has added a disclaimer to their booking website for the upcoming performance of Rapunzel. But as Bradley Jones reports, you might be surprised with what they say could be lurking in your fairy tale. Uh, joining us now, Linda Lusardi, who is starring as the Wicked Queen in Whitley Ooh. Bay's production of Snow White and says, people already know what to expect at the pantomime. Businessman and father of four, True Powell, says, we need more trigger warnings. Morning. Uh, True Powell, really, for panto, don't we already know that, you know, there's going to be people in distress, damsels mainly, <laughs> um, you know, people who are asleep and then get kissed? Uh, I, I don't know what other... I mean, you know, Hansel and Gretel, th awful things are going to happen to people. Stepmothers are terrible. It, do we really need them to be warned about? Morning, morning, Paul. Um, so, yes, we, we, we really do. Um, I think what we need to remember is that these pantomimes, they do contain themes that may be harmful to others. And when we speak about trigger warnings, it's just that we are providing the audience with the information so they can make an informed decision whether they want to put themselves in a space that may trigger some really harmful emotions. And actually, I personally don't see anything wrong with prefixing any kind of content with a trigger warning if it does contain themes that may trigger. And I also think, actually, Susanna, that it's really problematic just because it's a, a pantomime and it's a family-friendly event um, that these um, pantomimes cannot be harmful. They can very much be harmful and it can very much put people into a space where they are, where they can't control their emotions and, and to consume content that may be harmful. And there's nothing wrong with allowing your audience to make informed decisions as to okay. whether they want to be in that space Linda. or not, or even prepare themselves mentally. Lin Linda, I, you know, as a parent, when I'm looking at taking my daughter to something, I like to try and do some research to see whether it's going to be appropriate for her. Don't trigger warnings just help you do that? No, I don't think they do, really, because, um, you know, I think most British adults know what they're going to see when they go to a pantomime. They've all read the stories, and no child is going to the pantomime on their own. They're going with an adult, and it's up to that adult to decide whether they think the storyline is suitable or not. Um, and I think these warnings, I mean, if you start putting them on pantomimes, you're going to have to put them on everything. I mean, I'm traumatised by hearing Bear Grylls talking about biting the snake's head off yeah, this morning. True. There was no <laughs> warning that was coming. <laughs> Yes. Um, Perhaps we should have put a trigger warning on that. I mean, that's... Uh, Linda, makes, snakes watching. Li Linda makes a good point, True. Shouldn't life come with a trigger warning? I mean, you know, there is something that's going to upset, offend, hurt people in, in almost everything we do. I mean, in a way, pantomime's the least of it, isn't it? No, it's not. And I think this is the problem, Susanna. I think because it's a pantomime, people think that it can't be harm, um, harmful. And actually, there are some messages, um, subconscious messages within these pantomimes that can very much be harmful. And that is treated as normal. We need to start treating people's mental well-being and putting that at the forefront. And there is nothing wrong with prefixing any form of content that, that has Damage or that can have damaging ramifications on one's mental health with a trigger warning. I, 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 for the life of me, I can't see anything wrong with that. And if we do have to um, prefix most content with trigger warnings because it may hurt or be harmful to someone, then that's what we should do. As a society, we should want to care for people's mental well-being. And if it's just a one sentence to say, this may contain trigger warning, um, rape or racism or homophobia or anything like that, then why not? And uh, Linda, if, if I could look at this, on this particular theatre, which is Cambridge University's theatre and comes from their crew, I mean, when, when you start to read the description, it talks about themes such as self-love. And I, I, do, I do question whether it's, it's looking at a pantomime that's totally suitable for children. That is a theatre that always has trigger warnings and descriptions on all its performances. So would you suggest it just shouldn't do it for pantomimes? Or, or it, the fact that it's always doing it, is it fair to add one for a panto too? Well, because the university, they may be doing a different kind of panto, but yeah. the average theatre panto 
doesn't need a warning. There's nothing in there that's going to damage children. In 30 years of being in Panto, I don't think I've ever had one complaint about the content. I mean, sometimes people complain that music's too loud or whatever, but um, have you ever never made the kids cry. Pardon? You must have made kids cry if you're playing the the, the wicked the wicked witch or whatever. Yeah, but you know, kids love to be scared, and they're going if they're going to cry at me on stage speaking in a loud voice, then they're going to cry at the television or when they read a story. I mean, what do you do? These kids have got to come grow up and, and go into the world out there. You can't wrap them in cotton wool the whole time. I, um, I have to say, from, from I've got to be honest, from with my normal day job hat on, uh, from a cons consumer perspective, I always like to see more information and more transparency so people can make a better consumer choice. And doesn't a trip, I mean, arguing against a theatre, putting on a description of what you're likely to see so people can make a, a legitimate and reasoned choice of whether they want to go mm. or whether their children want to go, is that really such a bad thing? But I mean, I'm looking at the trailer you just showed where you're saying, you know, women being entrapment and all this stuff. I mean, you put that on a panto as a warning, people aren't going to go to the show. And I think it's, it's unfounded. Um, you know, these warnings are for really, you know, I, I look at the warnings on a film and I won't watch it if it's too violent. Well, if they're saying that because somebody smacks someone or in a movie, then that, that, that's not a founded complaint. Do you know what I mean? I, I just think that if you put this on a panto, you're going to stop a lot of people going and enjoying the show. True, Pearl, you are a father of four. Are you going to take your children to see Panto this Christmas? I will take my children to see the Panto because I know my children. I, I speak to my children and I know what, some, what, what they've been through and I know some of the trauma that they have. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're able to, to speak and, and conversate about those things. But actually, it's important because we can now make that informed decision that if we want to go to that theatre in Cambridge, we understand the content and the mm. themes that are in that um, that content, and we can now make that informed decision. And I just think what Linda was just saying, because it's a panto, I have to draw back to to to, to my argument, and that actually it may just be a panto, but it can it can be just as harmful as a Certificate 18 film in the cinema. It can be just as harmful as any other content. But the dangerous is, is that it's insidious. It's been dressed up as harmless. And I think that that's the problem you've that just, we've got come to mind. You've just said you're taking your children to the panto and you've made an, a decision about that, not because of a warning, because you're a mature adult that knows what your children can take on and can deal with. And I think but that, I, you know, it's... It, you know, I think I'm most parents out there are the same. I, understand. I mean, I'm not yeah, saying don't go on there, but I'm just saying you, you may alienate a lot of public uh, to go into the show that, in my opinion, and it's only my opinion, is is harmless. It's, I think children know fiction from fairy tale. All right. They know Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm sorry, guys, you've both been brilliant, but this interview is now behind you because we have to move on to the next <laughs> item. Thank, thank you so much, both of you, for the debate. Thank we you. appreciate thank it. You Cheers.